Hi, my name is Scott Newman, and this is U.S. Market Board with the question of the week, which is sent in from Shelley from Tupelo, Mississippi. And her question has to do the difference between a Rollies clutch and a Meco clutch. Now, this is what I have on the Meco clutch side, and this is the Rollies clutch side, and you can see that they're very different. The Meco has the clutch system and the bracket integrated into one. So when you mount it, you mount the clutch with the bracket, and it gets installed as one piece. When you're doing the Rollies part, you're installing the bracket, and the bracket gets installed, and then you feed this into the bracket. Now, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, I come at things from a maintenance background, so looking at it from a maintenance point of view, to fix the Meco one, you have to take the Meco clutch and the bracket down, which means you have to dismantle the shade and the bracket to fix it to put it back up again. If you have to replace it, again, you have to take the whole part down, the whole installation down to put a new one up. I'm going to put this down for a second. To do the Rollies one, you're going to install your bracket, and this goes into the bracket, which is you know, pretty, pretty easy to do. And if a shade breaks or if the clutch needs to be replaced or the chain needs to be replaced, you pop the shade out of the bracket, but the brackets still stay where they are. You fix the chain or the clutch and you put it back up again. It's a much simpler approach to have to fix it. Now, there are clearly pros and cons to everything. And the biggest pro to this is that it's one solid piece. It, the clutch and everything are integrated with it. The one pro to the Rollies is that you do not need to take the bracket down to fix the shade. Now, again, like I said, this is my own opinion and I come at things from a maintenance point of view. I tend to side with the Rollies clutch or the Draper clutch because it's much easier to fix from a maintenance point of view. You don't need to have a drill with you to dismantle the whole shade to fix it to put it back up again. But you will figure out which one best suits your needs. So that is the question of the week. I want to say thanks, Shelley, for sending that in. And we look forward to seeing you next week with the next question of the week.